I really don't want to punch through her stuff. This feels kind of wrong. Okay. It's so funny that the head is alive now, just that big of the gulps. So the witch was Freya. Wow. Well, I'm not very surprised, but... Go to the serpent's horn. She certainly feels like uh, Freya. that unlocked it or not because we have to get here and it would be great if we could uh, fast travel to let's say here so Mamir why did Freya spin your face? no speak of Balder he claims nothing harms him Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. For boasting of a god, everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Man, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Uh, which way? This way. I know of someone who lost oxygen to their brain uh, uh, just not long enough to die, but long enough to for his brain to have to mend for a while. It's a crazy story. I just felt like it's kind of, um, I don't know. Good. Now put my lips to the horn. Is this the horn? Here? that statue made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors that fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Alright, wish me luck. Yeah. 
He remembers me. Why are you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one on the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, he thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, but I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Well, that was pretty cool. Epic, if I may say so myself. Jörmungandir. The world serpent spans all the waters of Midgard. Maybe the only one big enough to beat Thor. I still can't believe we've met him. Now that I've heard Mimi talk to Jörmungandir in his ancient tongue, I wonder if I could figure out how to do it. Yeoman Gandesh. Um. And uh, by the way, the controller was shaking the whole way. Why is it telling us to go? Yeah, okay, here we go. So when we get to the boat. We can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. We could do a little bit of exploring. That does sound cool. Now that the whole landscape's changed, um, it would be cool to check out some new things. You read it okay. now. It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. Ooh, good find. Nice. Yeah, let's let's have a look at our things. So we found uh what is that? Two, three, four, five out of six, seven, eight, nine five out of nine, yeah. I love those the the dra the dragon heads. They're so cool. However, um, okay, fair enough. Let's uh, have this here. Okay, and then we go to the boat. I have no idea how far into the story I am, but I've played for 17 hours, I saw. 
Um, Ready yourself, boy. Nightmares. Ah, uh, what awful pain. <laughs> Well, he still has yellow and blue, at least. Here, boy. Yes, sir. It's another one of those maps. Find the location. Island of Light. While we hail from Altheim, the Light Elves make sure to watch over Midgard. I spend most of my life here at this outpost, and I will likely die here. Okay. Oh, another one of these. Huh, we're like way in the fog over there. <clears throat> Wait, where are we in the world? We're in Midgard, right? It's, I don't know, it's just reminded me of something that would be a Jotunheim thing. Let's have a look here. Since we're here, we might as well look around. Oh, him again. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Hey, Sindri, have you met Mimir? If you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Now, how much? Uh, so what brings you around, friends? How much can I sell of artifacts? I have two of these to sell. These I just want to keep, really. Or eight cups. Huh. Fifteen thousand. I guess we'll sell the cups, you know. Where were you even carrying those? The secret to any craft is in the fine details. Yeah. Well, don't buy anything on my account. <laughs> okay, so that's it, it's just uh, him over here. Seemingly. But wait, no. And this is another place to climb. But now, this might be taking us too far away. Two ways down. What's that thing over there? There's something red over there. Oh, I, I could slide with, okay, on the rope down there. That'd be interesting to check out later. Okay, not bad. I feel like we should save again.
Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Head. Do you know this place or not? I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. It looks like that place on the map we found, right? This thing. Island of Light. I don't know, it just reminded me of it. What the heck is that? Trying to look for any clues. Okay, we found one of these. Good stuff. Anybody who is watching this, please let me know if you know um, whether or not I need to open the portal every time I see it, see it to have it added to the map, and why the portals aren't available to me anymore. Are we lost? Nah. So it's just the portal. That head over there. I don't see anything to do over here. Is that supposedly Odin? Well, both his eyes look intact, so I'm guessing not. for later. What about if you shoot the stone? I don't know then. Hmm. Which way? Uh we were going here, right? Yeah. Oh shoot, I see something. That's how you do that. <laughs> there we go. Dude, that's good stuff. Maybe we should try our hands at some crafting next time uh, we see a store. The seagulls, that seagull sound so reminds me of Norway. Oh, look at that froggy. Hey, froggy. Did you jump away? It's so weird, there's fish. Oh, yeah, because the water just uh, sank. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom? Like maybe a whetstone? Oh, this was just a fast way to get. Okay, that's the way back. That's how we got up there. And that was just a fast way down. Got it. So yeah, we're just exploring around. Can I jump down? Uh, 
that. Looks like something we can do something with. It's across the water. I can't wade. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Hold on a second. Now let's, oh, and this thing. I remember this is good. Mimir, you never did tell me why Frey stood in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Absolutely a masterpiece, this game. It's so interesting, all the, the story parts. And this is something... No, it has to be opened, I guess. From up there. This is rarely easy. At least not the last time I tried it. Let's give it a go though. <laughs> Do I not have any thing I can take? Any items? Yeah, dragon tear, I think. Okay, upgrade of talisman. Got it. So I'm screwed right now. Whoa, whoa. You know what I should do? Is shoot them from afar. Oh, shoot! How did he come to life again? 
Keep shooting him. God. I'm almost dead even. Ah, uh, he's protecting himself now. Ah. Uh. God. Oh, he got me. Oh. I was close, though. I was close. Whoo! Okay. So that's still a little bit ahead of my game. Screwballs. And I just spent that thing. Should I reload or should I don't know if uh, is it good that I've I think I should reload God, it was a great fight though yeah I need to be stronger before I uh, approach those black holes so I don't know if this auto saved after the fight if it was before, but I'll just take it. I'll just take it for what it is. Maybe I can buy another revival uh, stone. Ah, Fafnir. I always wondered what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir storeroom Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. My goodness. That's pretty impressive. I'm just in constant awe at this game. I don't know which way I should go first. If I go here... Oh, no, I can't even, so... There's that. And uh, this probably opens later. My goodness. Switching air. Oh my goodness. Should I attack this one? crazy to be fighting other enemies while we're in the vicinity of this thing. Nothing. How did your friend become a dragon, Mimir? Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scrot was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. Okay, I gotta break all three seals. I see that now. Okay, where are the other seals? That's where we came. There's a dot over there. Is that the other side? Let's just go up it, let's see. No, yeah, this looks like a new way. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. He doesn't take damage at all. Oh my goodness! Wow, 
far. No! I'm coming to you! But I, uh, I almost got him though. Can't get him when he's like this. Oh! Oh, that was a good fight. Uh, travels end. Kill travelers. Encounter more of these heavily armored swordsmen by thoroughly exploring the lands you traverse. Consult the bestiary for tips on defeating them. Uh, right. I'm sure I'll read that at some point. They wear really tough, strong armor, have huge swords, and are one of the toughest enemies we've faced. Who are they, and what do they want with us? Mob never mentioned the, the travelers. I hope we don't have to fight them too, too many of them. Yeah, that was tough, what do we man. Do with that? Hmm. We will show it to the dwarves. Nice stuff. We got some good stuff. Okay. And now we can break this one. You've never answered the boy's question, Head. How did this dwarf become a dragon? Well, I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Banyard goddess. Now we spent that revival stone. Now we gotta contend with this guy. Well. Maybe not exactly. Exactly, but we have to break that. Take that of it. Uh, where is the other? Oh gosh. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we supposed to fight him? Are we supposed to... Didn't do anything, did it? What if I aim at... the chain? Or the green part of the chain? Seem to do anything. What about what? Oh, there it is, the last one. And then he's going to be free. Time to set him free. Think he'll remember you? I don't know, lad. A lot's changed since we last crossed paths. I had legs. So 
other as well. Really don't know what we're supposed to be breaking. Is that a redstone? No. Oh, what? Look. Where did that go? in front of the dragon here? This is not smart. What are we doing over here? Oh jeez, this guy. Oh no. Jeez. Surface scale. Uh, yeah, I need to find more books. I did okay. Yeah. I see you. There. Oh, I can press X on it. Scale of the chain, rare enchantment, mod red perk activation chance to grant blessing of runic when using a runic attack. Nice. Nice. Dragon's Freed. One out of three. Cool. There's three dragons like that to three. Wow. Fafnir was a dwarf, one of the sons of Ivaldi, according to Mimir, but he was a very greedy, and his greed turned him into a dragon. It sounds ridiculous, but I saw him with my own eyes. He was a dragon. I wonder if it was painful to turn from dwarf to dragon. How long did it take? I had a bunch of questions for him, but he flew off before I could ask any. Amazing. Absolutely astounding. And okay, so we're done with the area. All right. Here 
here some help. We already tried that, now we need to go here. We should look for more like this. Hmm. And that's how you will unlock Niflheim. Okay, got it. I'm just I'm really stoked we unlocked uh Muspelheim. Did I save after the battle? Oh, oh yeah, this was just on the way. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was like a part of the main I can't quest. Can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Jorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjordgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Mm. Gulvik. You were taken from this realm too early. Oh. You're not a spirit. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Okay, are we talking about reviving um, his wife and his son's mother? Is that what we were saying there? 
Should we go around the lake? Well, we might as well do this first anyway. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go. Here we go for what? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that didn't do a lot. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out, look if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Huh. Um. Not exactly sure how we would go about it, but. Uh, there, oh, there's one that's only 165 meters away. So maybe we'll just take the one that's 100 meters away. Let's we'll look into that one. And then we'll just be right back to it. Okay, obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than him. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So would I. Okay, let's just find these bones here. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. Okay. Trusting the spirit to keep its word is foolish, boy. But... If there's even a chance... Don't you want to see Mom again? Of course I... She is gone, Atreus. You must accept this. I do, but... to see her again. Just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I... I understand how that feels. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. 
There was a giant once named Pamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Grimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Grimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. A very story rich uh, episode. I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagop, the great boy. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire and there was ice. And there in the void, they met and produced water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood. What killed him? Oh no, he found a village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Yeah, it does seem like I need to do it to add it to the map. I feel like I've said that before. Too. In any case, I'm gonna enjoy um, editing this so much. Because, um, I'm, I'm going to focus on what they're actually saying in the stories a little bit more. Be ready. of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Looks like some place we're supposed to explore. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Ooh. Wow. What a giant. Look at that hand. I didn't even realize. Uh, this one, right? That's incredible. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. What am I supposed to do? Move it? Like that? Maybe to the other side? I'll try to pull it out or push it in. No, that doesn't do anything. I don't know. I don't know. What's this about? Hidden chambers. What? So, okay, it's okay. Magically sealed, I'm afraid.
Wow. So this is the the giant. Oh my god. He was struck down by Thor, I suppose. Because the stories were very much like that. Thor would just beat down these humongous giants. I didn't imagine I imagined them to be big, but not that big. Well, I think we're going to cut the episode here. Stay tuned for more. Have a good day. Peace.